and there's Movie Pass. So I'm very happy to have these folks with us. They were here with Maria a year ago when they debuted. Uh, they've had a bumpy uh, ride along the way here, but they think that this this latest fix, where they go from offering you uh, 30 movies over the course of a month for a set price to maybe three movies and discounted movies after that uh, for a similar price will do the trick, keep those who have been you know, tanking the stock or trying to go after them at bay. Here to talk all about it, Ted Farnsworth, CEO of Helios and Matheson Analytics, which is the parent company of MoviePass and MoviePass CEO, Mitch Lowe. Gentlemen, welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Thanks for so, having us. Mitch, let me begin with you. For this new deal is what? Well, the new deal is three movies a month. Uh, so you can imagine, you know, here in New York, that'd cost you $45 to do that, and all for $10. Uh, in addition to that, you can go to more movies at a discounted price, as much as $5 off the normal price. So, you know, what it really does at $9.95 is it, it appeals to the people who've been abandoning the movie theater. The perfect uh, uh, proxy for that is a year ago, in 2017, it was the worst year in 25 years in the box office. This first half of this year is up 9%, first time in years that the box office is up. And believe me, there's not that many better movies this year well, than last year. Well, they do have some more appealing blockbusters. That a couple. Might have made, made so, but, a uh, couple. You know, let me ask about that, because did you think that coming a, a year after it was 30 movies, uh, that that was too much, or was that a, a means by which you would entice no, people I think, in? I think basically what it was was we really went for, with Mitch's background with Netflix and Redbox, it was really our strategy was go for the growth get way ahead of any competition out there. So over 3 million subscribers out there. But was that the goal? In yeah, that was the goal, yes. Knowing full well that that was not financial. No, knowing that, though, we always believed the business model was totally sustainable, but we knew that we would have to adjust later on down the road and also yeah. have ancillary revenues, other revenues, like making our own movies, like we bought a studio out of California, things like that, to come alongside a movie pass as we push people in the theaters and we make money through DVD, through streaming, and other ways. So... We believe at Helios, we've always been the biggest supporter. We own 92% of the company right now. Um, I think with Mitch's background with Netflix and Redbox, we're well on our way. And but in the interim, this. so many have come to play in the sandbox, right? Yeah. AMC out has, with its A-list, there's movie clubs, uh, Cinemia, Alamo, Draft House, Compondre, the same. Yeah. Uh, you know, you invented this, and others are, are taken and running with this. That, that is absolutely the best part, because... You know, I love movies, and I love movies on the big screen, and the industry was dying from lack of innovation. And so, you know, while it's more competition for us, uh, it's really re-energized uh, the whole idea of going to movies, which especially, you know, over half of our uh, members are millennials. And those were the people who have been only streaming. And they But those members are confused, right? I mean, they, a year ago, they had 30 movies. Now yeah. they have three movies. Do you still think that those who are still on from that are saying they're getting gouged? Yeah, well, it's really tough as a, as a startup, you know, when you're trying to change the industry and reinvigorate it. You end up having to make, you know, changes here and there. But the model that These are not just changes. These are fairly draconian. I mean, <laughs> it, reverse stock split. But we've, already had, but we've already had over a million subscribers join in the last week. You know, our How many total do you have now? Three million, over yeah. three million. Three All million. Right. And, and on the So what was happening with those who you had who were trying to, to get out and then, or the, even those who stayed, who, who realized their subscriptions were canceled? What happened with that? Yeah, there was, a, there was an error that popped up on the screen that made people think like their cancellation hadn't worked. But it had absolutely worked. And so it was, ju it was just the visual uh, made those customers. But were existing think. customers who didn't want to cancel also seeing their subscriptions canceled accidentally no, no. through this technical error? No. When, when you went to use the app and a, and a pop-up came up that said, hey, do you want to join this new program? Yes or no. When you pressed no and then you came back again, it looked like you had to do it again. But that was just an error. It's totally fixed on our side. All right. So let's review this. I know in the latest quarter you had about $126 million operating loss from $2.7 million a year ago. Uh, and that whatever fixes you've arranged here, you're still yeah. bleeding a lot of cash. Sure. At the rate of what, 20 million, maybe more a month? Not, not even right now. We, on our burn was actually. Because that would mean the burn rate would would put you out in three months if you don't make. Right, so. and the burn rate now is down to like about approximately 12 million a month, and we did that over the last three weeks, where we started adjusting the new plan and putting that in place, because obviously Wall Street wanted to see us get to a, a path of profitability, and we're well on our way. So we're showing over the last three weeks 
that our average user goes to 0.8 movies. So you're already profitable, you know, net cash wise. So they see about eight tenths of a movie. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, all right, so that, that is looking better. But this idea that you're going to run out of cash in, in right. a few months. They've been saying that since a year ago when we were here. Well, mathematically, Actually, now it looks yeah. possible, right? Well, except for, though, that our burn now is, like, down to approximately $12 million a month from so where it was. six months by it. Yeah, six months. months. But, look, Wall Street loves this story. They love a growth story. we got over 3 million subscribers. Nobody's even close to us. I think AMC is the next one, the number one theater out there. they got 300,000. So Has AMC we, talked to you guys? Um, no, we, they, they, no, that's been an ongoing uh, challenge with us right. on that. But, but I'll tell you, we have over 2,000 screens of independent, you know, theaters around the country. For instance, like here in the city, Landmark and stuff like that. And there are, you would be appealing to talk to you. Uh, incredible sure. customer base. Yeah. Uh, uh, volatility people who've left notwithstanding. If I'm a competitor, I'm, I, I would knock on your Me, door. Media companies are contacting us all the time. Who? Uh, Who? For, I, we won't say because uh, those deals are all in and conversation. And you whisper the name. <laughs> <laughs> Can we whisper the name? <laughs> Listen, we've been, we're, we're the hottest brand out there going for the last year. And uh, so uh, we're here. We're not, we're not going to run out of any cash or anything like this. But you talk about in investors, right? I mean, mm -hmm. you have a lot sure. of shares outstanding. Sure. Right? Sure. I mean, it's, it's, it's ballooned almost, what, 10,000%. Sure. So and, and nobody gets hurt more by dilution than us. Right. Absolutely. So we don't like it. No, no. You would know, you're, you're, you're take the bath you know. as well. Yeah. But you can understand the investment community saying, I mean, you're taking risks. This is not an easy business to be in. You started. You see what's happened. Yeah. Uh, are you worried if you get panicked that unless things start reversing and soon or people respond in mass to this latest offering? Uh, you're toast. Well, yeah, well, we, we, uh, I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. We, we, just in the very first day, we've had over a million of our subscribers already say, I want this new plan. This new plan is a profitable plan that gets us to cash flow positive. And when the market starts to realize that the need for capital is declining rapidly, I think people will start, investors. What's have, in it for the customers, though? If I'm getting it, so I get three movies yep. a, a month. For right. ten dollars, right? R roughly. Yeah. Right. What you get, what you get is a super low price. It's a couple cups of coffee, and for that you any can, movie, any movie. How about a three D movie? No, no three D movies. Okay. But we are launching a premium package where you'll pay a few bucks extra and be able to go to premium. What this does is it frees up and liberates people uh, to discover new films in the box office, so that they just go they go beyond the Jurassic worlds and the solos and they can go see the great small films that are made by independent filmmakers and and it really just you know if you can see three movies for the same price as one that gives you the freedom Maybe. to go I mean it could be like Netflix in the early days is that your yeah, that to imitate that, that was yeah. Him. yeah it was we'll a good model that, right? we'll it take that for sure you think that could happen absolutely yeah 100% all right Guys, thank you both very, very much. Uh, whatever you want to say about MoviePass, they, they started this trend. Um, others are, are seizing on it right now. But the fact of the matter is it has gotten the world's attention and still does.